Okay. First thing though, we always ask them though, if there's anything we can pray for them about. Right. So Tommy and... Harley. Harley. Yes. What's your um, real name? Tommy. <laughs> like, is it short for something though? No, it's really just Tommy. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. What about yours? No, just Harley. <laughs> What would be a random prayer request for you guys? Oh gosh. Have you been asked in a while? No, honestly. No. Lord, thank you for Tommy. Uh, thank you for Harley. God, I'm asking that you would bless Tommy's father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> that was beautiful. High five. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. Okay, so before you go, just humor me, okay? Come on over here. Okay, come on. <laughs> This is Tony. Tony, Tommy, and Harley. Tommy, it's fine. Yeah. So if you look at your wristband on the yellow, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna see this right here. Okay. Okay. Now come here. You didn't put it here. So have you guys? Do you, have you ever read the Bible? Yes. Okay. So do you mind reading this out loud? Yes. For all who have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay. So your yellow. Yes. Is sin. Right. Everybody. It doesn't matter. Right. Okay. Blue hair, black hair, blonde hair. Right. How long have you had the blue hair? Oh gosh, um, about a few months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's I changed, new. I changed it often. Yeah. It was purple and green before. Mm -hmm. I changed it often. Okay, so you think it's true everybody sins, right? <laughs> yes. Like there's nobody perfect. Right. Whether you're at babes right here, twisted root, or firefighters. Right. All right. Okay. Go to the next one. Tommy, you're up. You want to read this one? For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, so the wages of sin. If we all sin, so your other word is death. Right. I know. That's really, like, <laughs> super depressing. You want to read it, uh, Harley? Yeah. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, so tangibly, he shows us his love by putting his son Jesus on the cross. Right. Love takes away death and sin. The blue word is, come on, Tommy, you got it? No. You can just look at it. It's right there. You want, to read, you want to read it out loud, Tommy? Okay. For by grace you have been saved through faith. Faith! And that none of yourself is uh, give to God, not as a result of work, so that no one may boast. You got it. So it's faith. So, um, how is a person not saved? By not having faith. That if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Uh, for with a heart, person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with his mouth, he confesses, resulting in salvation. Okay, so your fifth word is life. Yes. So you get life in him when you say out loud, Jesus, I embrace you with my faith, because of what he did, and it takes it away. And then when people say that, then they get dumped. <laughs> this is the dunk tank. It's not a softball dunk tank where you throw a ball. <laughs> it's where they get baptized. That's great. Why do you feel like we needed to encounter you today? Any Anything specific? I've got a lot going on in my life. I mean, we're always busy. We've both got kids, you know. Life gets hectic on us a lot. In the scripture, it talks <laughs> about how like you have gifts of discernment. Really what that means? Do you have any idea what that means? Honestly, no. It just means you're able to un... Go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Tony, what's yeah. discernment mean? Discernment is where you can... Um, where you hear... <laughs> Where, where you hear something that the Lord is speaking into you about someone else, about the situation. So what I hear about for both of you guys, you both have a background. At least you've been exposed to this. Yeah. But this is a bold statement. I don't think it's personal. Yeah. I don't think you have a relationship. No, I, I definitely don't know. That's not a judgment. No, but it's it's like a real thing. It's like different than like having a like an acquaintance and actually having a friend. Right. He, for me, meaning Jesus, he's, he's literally changed my life. And as you go through work, as you go through prayer, I don't know how people do it without it. So I'm actually not even saying specifically go to the building. Right. I'm saying let him change who you are, like Looking right where you're at. Right. He does that.
So, practically, the scripture just says, say it out loud. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's We're right. all closing our eyes, okay. except Ricky. Oh, thanks, Mike. Do this. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.